the idea of this checklist architecture is anything that you do, think about what it is that you do on a repeatable basis. It's a process, should be governed by a checklist. It's written down where you have documented exactly how to do each of these particular components. So the business should be able to operate without you because someone should be able to go through that training on how to do whatever it is. It could be a Zoom that you record. It could be you just recording your screen in a loom. It doesn't have to be some complex thing. It can be just a few simple things that you do. You recorded how you do it. And now you turn it into a presentation for video narration and you turn it into a guide for people to be able to watch. So I consider this the heart of marketing and training and operations is unfortunately document production, right? Because if you don't document what you do, it's not repeatable. And then anytime someone has a question on that thing, then you have to personally one-on-one -on -one coach them privately live how to do something, which is great for them because then they get your personal touch, you're available, it shows that you care, but it also makes it impossible for you to scale because there's no documentation to fall back on. And the reason we create documentation is not because we're inhuman and we just want people to read the documents or to Google it. It's so that we can spend quality time with people instead of repeating things that we've already said before, right? You want your time to be quality. The, the whole thing with having these documents is to free us up to do what we as humans should be doing, which is building relationships. And so when we have VAs that are working on this kind of training on how to do stuff, for example, Jeremy has got this basic SEO one-on-one -on -one stuff that we sent over to our friends at SEMrush so that we can show how we're using the SEMrush tool to be able to teach SEO, the SEO principles plus the tool itself. And that's great because now anyone that wants to learn how to do SEO, they don't need one-on-one -on -one private education for me unless they want to pay for that time, which is expensive. They can go to that training and then be a part of office hours, which of course we're recording as well. Everything we're doing with an eye towards recording it so that it's repeatable.